everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, where it's a haul, y'all. Not only is it a haul, it's also a giveaway, so you have to make sure to listen all the way through, watch all the way through to find out what you need to do to try and enter and win a cool prize that I'll tell you about in a little bit. But first, it's a haul. Oh my gosh. Went so many places yesterday. Yes, I'm off for my birthday week, which means, you know, spending more money than I should, but who cares? It's my birthday week and I can. Yeah. I think I will start today <laughs> with the least expensive of the, actually I have two that might match up for that. One was Dollar Tree and one was a consignment store. What? All right. We'll start with Dollar Tree because those are always fun. Uh, there was beverages that were already taken care of out of this. I got some more of these because they're yummy. I had some of these on my hot taste. They weren't that hot. They were actually quite delicious. Mancheros Mexican style street corn esquite. If you get a chance, give them a try. They're actually quite good. Um, I end up with scratches all the time. So I got myself some neon band-aids because you know what? If you got a boo-boo, why not make it fun? Yes, I'm apparently still 12 and not 52. Um, some more seeds. Zinnias and Bachelor Buttons and Cosmos and California Poppy Extra Golden. They're four for a buck there, Dollar Tree. Yes, Dollar Twenty Five Tree still has some things that are less than a dollar. So I picked those up too. We'll see what they do or what they don't do or whatever. I'm gonna give that receipt. Okay, got myself some more of a six pack of these little cheap palettes because when I'm doing painting and stuff, I have one that's a little bigger, but this is a little handy when I'm not using a ton of colors. So that. Um, something to add to the puzzle winnings. Um, I had someone win a puzzle for me during my live the other day, which you should watch the replay of because there's replay giveaways. Adding another puzzle to that because I can. Instead of one puzzle, they're getting two because it's yarn. Yes. Don't know what the quality is on the puzzle, but it, you know, it should be pretty fun anyway. I got a couple of bags because who does not need bags? Um, this is cute. Just a little shopping bag. It's a box bottom. Yes, you can use it for projects or you can use it, you know, for groceries. I thought I just saw somebody go by. Could have been a bird. Whoa, that was weird. Nice little handles. I got that one and I got this one because it has lemons on it. I'll probably use this one for shopping, but who doesn't love like summery lemons? And it's a big bag. So yeah, buck and a quarter a piece, definitely good. And I can use fewer plastic bags. This is in a plastic bag right now because that's how our Dollar Trees um, give their stuff out to you. They don't give it to you. They sell it to you, but you know, whatever. And the Dollar Tree that I went to, not my usual Dollar Tree, actually had a few magazines and I thought that was interesting. Um, Relish, which is a cooking magazine, and I think that's going to be fun to look through and just see what they got. Normally a $4.99 magazine, buck and a quarter, and small space organizing. I wonder if they have any organizing tips for yarn. Probably not, but it'll be fun to look through anyway, because I enjoy looking through magazines. Okay, that is my Dollar Tree section of the haul. I'm going to put it down here because there's not enough room up here. Next up, let me get down here, pick it up, was a consignment store. I know, right? It was right next to that Dollar Tree that I went to down in Commerce, Georgia. Um, so yeah, their prices are actually pretty good. I picked this skirt up. Look at this, y'all. It's like tie-dye and flowy and it's nice and long, even on me. Originally from Cato, you know, and their price on it, believe it or not, six bucks. It's a place called Fabulous Finds. And yeah, they had a lot of nice stuff in there and their prices are very, very reasonable. You know, a lot of consignment stores, they like try to jack things up. No, they don't. They keep their prices super reasonable. And I asked them about um, consigning stuff there. They're like, yeah, but you have to do clothes by appointment and we're booked out to December. Wow. But they did have some nice stuff. So maybe I'll look into booking because I really do need to get rid of some stuff and not keep buying more. Where am I going to put this? I'll set it up here for right now because there's more stuff in this bag. I actually didn't spend a lot here, but I wanted to buy some stuff. This is cool. Two of these scarf rack thingies. Um, I have a lot of scarves and belts and stuff like that. $3.50. 
these are like perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with them. So yeah, I thought that was cool. Oh, and speaking of nothing wrong with them, a lot of the clothes and stuff they have there are new with flipping tags and they still are prices like that skirt. Seriously, take a look. They even had some really expensive, and I say expensive handbags on the cheap. So yeah. And, oh gosh, what's, oh, my books are in here. Yes. Of course I bought books because there were books there. Not a lot of crochet books because those are disappearing right now because everywhere you look, crochet stuff is everywhere now. But I got this it's a really vintage book from the 70s, crocheting and knitting. And yeah, it's a little more than I would normally spend on a crochet book or any, you know, on a vintage book because I'm used to getting my books at like Goodwill, but willing to support the business because they had some cool stuff. $2.99 crocheting and knitting. And yes, it is from 1977. There may be a book look in the future. Mwahaha. Also, I got this more for myself than anything else. It's almost like a flipping textbook. Look at this thing. Michael's Book of Paper Crafts. I didn't even look to see when this was from because, and it's not in the greatest shape. It's got some tape holding it together. I don't care. It's a huge book. Um, oh, what's the year on this sucker? Does it say, it's got to say somewhere. I'm just not seeing it straight away. Well, phooey. Oh, 2005. I finally found it. My old eyes don't read as well as they used to. 2005. But it's going to be a cool book for me to just browse through and enjoy crafty things. Because I do like looking at crafty things. My grand total at the consignment store was... $16.72. Not bad for me at any kind of thrift store. And besides, this cost more than that brand new, the skirt all by itself. Oh, oh, I'm dropping a book. This is not good. You might hear a big bang here in a minute. All right. It's going on the floor before I toss it down there. Okay. Next store, because there are bunches, um, is Lane Bryant. Oh, actually the Lane Bryant outlet. Uh, there in Commerce, Georgia, or actually it's Banks Crossing, but whatever. Um, a lot of outlet stores. Yes, it's still wet. Um, and I decided I had to go buy a few things. I was not actually in the market there for a dress, but I saw this and just could not pass it up. And of course they had a sale going on. They always, everybody always has a sale. Look at this. And apparently I'm into tie dye. I was yesterday. Isn't that cute? It's a super cute dress. And I just had to have it. The regular price on this sucker, which I did not play, pay regular price, and y'all know that, was $69.95. This is all cotton, uh, crafted by hand, blah 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 and all of that. But I love the colors, and I love the tie-dye, and right now I'm just wadding it up. Yes, I know. The reason I actually went to Lane Bryant Oh, by the way, at Lane Bryant, I ended up spending a grand total of $86.09. Okay, and I got what they call Lane Bryant cash, redeemed $25 off $50 purchase because they want you to shop more. But wait, shop more. I got unders, y'all. I went there for unders. I own a lot of unders. It's time to call some of the herd. You know, unders get worn out. So I bought six pair and I'm going to get rid of 10 pair. Why would you do it that way? Because I literally have well over a hundred pair. But my favorites are the Cacique, Cacique, I don't know how they say their brand name. The uh, cotton string bikinis. They're super cute. They're super comfortable and they fit me well. They have the, the, the regular like briefs. They have all different kinds. They have thongs. Um, they have like hipsters and stuff, but for me personally and my build, these fit me perfectly. So I got some cute ones with some stars. And again with the tie dye. And some plain black. See that? And they have a type that I had never tried before. But it was buy three, get three free. So I had to get six pair. Right? I had to. They had these with like a wide elastic on them that actually say Cacique Cachica. I better learn how to say it if I'm going to be wearing it on my butt, right? Um, those. I got three pair of these. 
because mainly that was the only color they had in my size. Which in unders from Lane Bryant is always an 1820. They don't size like regular underwear sizes, so don't think that my butt is that wide. Okay, it's not quite that wide. They size like regular clothing sizes for their unders, which makes more sense in that weird sizing that everybody else seems to do. So that is what I got at Lane Bryant. I hadn't been there in a long time. But my phone number was still on file, so yeah. Anyhow, there is that. Before I get to Torrid, I want to tell you about the giveaway, okay? There are some things that will be given away. Now, in order to participate in the giveaways during my birthday week or during any time here, um, you have to be at least 18 years old. If you're not, you know, get, get your mom or daddy or whoever to, to enter for you, okay? You have to be a, a public subscriber to my channel, which means I have to be able to see that you are subscribed, okay? That, that's all that means. Um, you could have subscribed yesterday, today, tomorrow, whatever. As long as I can see that you're publicly subscribed, it is all good. And I appreciate you. This is like my birthday appreciation for y'all for being subscribers of my channel. And you're going to have to answer a trivia question that I'll give you here in a bit. <laughs> because the, the winner is going to be chosen uh, through a random comment picker. And we will see who has the right answer. Okay. Uh, it'll be the random comment doohickey generator that y'all have all seen before so that's going to be fun uh it does start today if you can see the video it has started and it ends on the 23rd which is thursday the 23rd and the winter video will be up on the 24th okay which is a friday so there's this is basically a one week video a one week giveaway okay and i'll ask you the question here in a little bit but i want to show you what you're going to win it's a variety of things, a, a multi-pack, as it were. Um, you may have seen this before on one of my other giveaways, but I thought it was, I had a bunch of these to give away, so they're cute. The Travel Lover's Mug. Look, there's a plane and, you know, a pair of little stickers from being on your luggage and stuff, and it's a cup. But it also has double chocolate cocoa mix. Who doesn't love cocoa mix? Okay. It's all in there. And... A little container for stitch markers or little notions or what have you. I love these things. Yes, I get them in a multi-pack from Dollar Tree. Seriously, Dollar Twenty-Five Tree, definitely still worth it for those little guys. And, but wait, there's more. <laughs> you know I had to do that, right? Um, a cute little notebook that comes with its own pen. Not vouching for the quality of the pen or anything, but here's the notebook. You have like a long notebook and short notes all the floral stuff because you know spring and summer you gotta have some florals a little turquoise on the outside there some pretty flowers i just thought it was super cute a little stationary set they're calling it and it is still still all wrapped in the plastic you could open it this way um yeah i thought they were cute so i did get a few of these to give away so there's one in there also always must have another notions pack or you know cosmetic pack whatever they want to call it right look at that isn't that cool? Oh, by the way, my giveaways are open internationally. As long as you are allowed to receive a package from the U.S., you are more than welcome to enter this because I'll be happy to send it to you. There is no substitute prize. Now, if your country cannot receive packages from the U.S., um, you are more than welcome to enter and win and like volunteer that package for somebody else. I'm cool with that. Um, also, let's see the final things. Two cakes. Yarn cakes. Yep two cakes of this beautiful blue color it's a wrap hues yarn by red heart um this is very fine it is a two sport weight each of these cakes oh gosh how much does each cake have they have to make it so hard for people like me who don't see anymore do 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 do, do. machine wash cold gentle cycle dry flat do not bleach do not iron do not dry clean where is oh there we are okay it's 100 each cake is 150 grams that's 570 meters, 50% acrylic, 50% cotton, and it is made to make a wrap, okay? That is a beautiful color. Oh, wait, there's something dangling on this one. What? That's right. Two contrasting hanky stitch markers to go along with this. So you can use one to like hold your stitch and you can use another one to mark what the front of your project is because if you're like me, you always forget which side is the front when you're working from a pattern. So two of those. And these, even though I paid 
less. I went to Ollie's and I got, I got these for $5 a piece. You might remember these from an Ollie's haul from several months ago. Um, they're normally about 11 bucks, 10 or 11 bucks a, uh, a cake. Gosh, they're so pretty. And they're soft. That 50 acrylic, 50 cotton. So there you go. These hanky stitch markers, by the way, are made by Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. And I will try to remember to link her right up there, if not down below. If not, just search YouTube for Ladybird Loves. You will find Lisa. And uh, you can email her and she can make these for you in uh, any color of the rainbow and then some. She's got like over 400 colors, I think she said. And you can mix and match and you can do two colors in a one. And it's like having a little hank of yarn. Plus, you can wear them as earrings because these are sterling silver leverbacks, y'all. And don't let that scare you off. The price is so reasonable even with shipping because they're so light to ship from England. Check it out. You'll love them. I love them. I wear them as earrings all the time. I didn't put earrings on. I just <laughs> I just washed my hair, so there's no earrings on right now. Um, so, yeah, that's the prize. I'll tell you what you have to answer after we go through some of the torrid. Some of it. Not all of it. There's not a lot, but there's enough. Now, this was the Torrid outlet, okay? So, uh, whoops, gotta see that Torrid logo, right? You know I love me some Torrid. It's the Fat Girl Store. Just to let you know that I paid a grand total because I did round up for a charity they have, uh, but I paid a grand total of $96. That may sound like a lot. It is kind of a lot, but birthday present to myself and I will pay it off as soon as I sit down and write out bills. Boom. It's paid off. Okay. I have a Torrid credit card um, and you get extra percentages off for using their credit card. This I thought was super summery and super me. Look at this top. Look at it. Isn't that so pretty? It has like the wider straps. So you could wear like a regular bra under it instead of a strapless, although their strapless bras are awesome and that's what I usually wear under it under tops like this. It's got a little elastic rushed back, but not super tight, just enough to give you some give. Um, the original price of this was $69.50. Y'all can tell by the total, I did not pay that. They had a sale on their tops yesterday. Oh gosh, but I love it. I love this in that it's loose and flowy without being too long. It's also not super short. It's not a crop, okay? Love this. And I'm going to put this up here for right now. Hello, Oscar. Do not mess with my books. Good grief. He's down there helping. Okay. And I got this off the clearance rack. Let me put this down. I feel a little bit easier to show you. Off of the clearance rack, I got a dress. Now, the original price of this dress was uh, $69.50. Did we pay that? No. The clearance price of the dress was $42.97. Did we pay that? No, we did not. I'm not. I don't even know what I actually ended up paying. It'd be on the receipt with the markdowns. But look at this. And yes, it has some sleeve to it. It has a little bit of sleeve. Look at the hearts. And those of y'all that hate pink and stuff, you won't like this. But I love it. Oh, and the cat's attacking a string. It has a pull tie belt on it, like a self belt. You can cinch it in a little bit. It's also got this cute zipper detail. Yes. So if you're feeling some cleavy, you can uh, open it up. If you're not, you zip it up. But it still has a really nice neckline. And I just love it. I love it that it's a darker color uh, because I don't wear a lot of light colors. I have this person that growing up, I was wearing black all the time. Everything was black, except for like the occasional pop. I had like a bright blue sweater or something that I put with it. But this is cool. I love the hearts. Oh, oh, and y'all, it has pockets. Pockets, what? Yes. So I got a cute dress. I love Torrid. I love Torrid so much. Okay, put that up here. Now, before I show you the last thing from Torrid, I do want to tell you that in order to enter the giveaway, you may have to Goog this if you don't know it straight off. I mean, I knew this one straight off because it's movie trivia and it's a movie that I'm familiar with. And I'm looking for a character name here, okay? Who said this line? Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? That's all you have to do. Answer that in the uh, comment section down below and say whatever else you want, of course. 
I love it when people leave comments and yeah, it's always a lot of fun, but who said that? There you go. There's your trivia question. Now the final thing that I got, normally when I go to Torrid, okay, I wear a size 13 shoe and y'all know that. I've, I've mentioned it before. Big old honking feet. That's a 13 in women's, which is like an 11 in men's. I'm close to six feet tall, so it's not like out of proportion, but it's hard to find shoes, okay? They almost never have 13s in the store unless they're returns. And this being one of the clearance areas and the, uh, the what do you call it, the outlet store, they get returns there. So I always go and look in their uh, clearance shoes and look for returns. You never know when you'll find a 13. I found a 13. Oh my God. These are like a creamy color, not quite white, just a little off-white in this cute boot, okay? There's a zipper. You tie it all up and you get it how you want. There's a zipper and it's got a little bit of elastic for some give. If you need some give when you're walking, it makes it more comfortable. Um, normally, these shoes were $99.50, okay? Um, the clearance price was $64.98, but... Um, clearance was on sale too. So yeah, like I said, the whole thing, my entire thing was $99. So I'd say I did pretty well, but yes, I was like, I'm buying these straight off. They were all the way up at the top shelf. I was like, what size are those? And I had to reach up there and get them. And I went, oh wait, they're 13s. Yes. They're coming home with me because I need another pair of boots. Like I need another hole in my head, but I have not had this color and I love the little combat boot style. They're super easy to walk in. I don't wear heels a lot anymore, so this works for me. And will I pair this with a dress? You know I will. I usually wear my black combat boots with dresses. I'm 52, but I still dress like a teenager sometimes. Y'all get over it, right? Right. So what'd you think of my haul today? Did I have lots of good stuff? I thought I had lots of good stuff. Got really, really excited because despite the heat now let me tell you it's hot outside if you're in a part of the country or part of the world where it's not hot please tell me where that is so i can come there because it is so hot here right now we are just getting on to the noon hour okay normally the hottest part of the day isn't until two or three or four in the afternoon because that's when the sun's been hitting it all day and all that stuff and right now it is 90 degrees Yes, and it's going to be even hotter next week. I'm not going to do the translations. Y'all just know it's hot. Hot. As in you walk out and humid. Oh my God, the humidity here is stupid, okay? You walk outside and it's like getting hit in the face with a hot, wet mop. My hair will not be down when I go outside. Oh, nay, nay. It will be up. And I'll be like, lead me to the air conditioning because more than about 10 or 15 seconds out there and I'm like dying. I don't do the heat. It is summertime. This much insulation is not made for summertime. It is not, at least not in the South. This humidity, you know, because normally when you perspire, it evaporates and it cools you off. When the humidity is literally 80 to 90%, your sweat ain't got nowhere to go. And you sweat and it just drips and it does not cool you off. It just makes you more miserable. So, yay. Birthday during the summer. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate that. But anyway, my loss, your gain. You got a giveaway to enter. I told you how to do it already. And I hope to see y'all very, very soon. Check out all my videos for all week long, including the replay on that live because there is a replay giveaway for that too. So lots of to win. You can win more than once. Um, I know I have a lot of giveaways this week. If you win like today's giveaway, you're also, you can still win yesterday's giveaway or tomorrow's because yeah, I'm feeling generous that way. Thank you all for coming by. Appreciate you. Tell me all about what you've been shopping for. And if you have any haul videos, let me know. I'd love to come check them out. See y'all very soon. Bye now.